Well, we knew this day would come, but regretfully it's here. It's time to give back our long-termer, the Ford Focus RS. It has been an incredible companion over these last six months and saying goodbye is going to be really difficult, but what a six months we've had with it. We have high demands of what we need a long-termer to be. It needs to be roomy enough to hold all our equipment, comfortable enough to do thousands and thousands of miles across Europe in, and also be fast to keep up with some of the cars that we have. So the Ford Focus RS is pretty much the perfect car that blends all of those things together. Now, I'd driven it before it became our long-termer and I knew kind of what to expect from track and that's where we have our cars off to. That's where we are right now. We're at Castle Coombe filming one last time using this workhorse to get the best out of our day. But I hadn't really experienced the car out on the street. I hadn't had a chance to just experience it as a daily driver, really what the focus is meant for. And it's there where the car is really surprised for something with over 300 brake horsepower. It's been absolutely amazing just getting myself around. If I've had to transport the kids, both of them fit in the back. Shopping, not a problem. Need to pack all of your luggage for a long trip, the car swallows it up. So have we found the perfect balance of fun and practicality in this car for, let's not forget it, a reasonable price? Maybe. For me, what really sells it is the fact that when you are doing that daily drive, that commute into the office, or simply getting to where you need to be, you can still tap into the excitement that the car has. If you have it in one of the sportier modes and you <laughs> knock it down a cog, the crack of the overrun and the engine roaring through the revs is a real thrill. You don't have to be doing stupid speeds to be able to take advantage of it. It wasn't just me that loved the Focus RS though. The whole team had it as a travel companion for the past six months. It seemed apt to get all of us to enjoy it together and remember some of the good times we've had with it. So what do you think of the novelty drifting mode? Do you think it's actually a valuable attribute to the car or is it just, you know, it's just a trick to show off with your mates if you can't drift in real life? I think if you know how to drift, it's a slightly unnatural drift. feeling. Very much four wheel drive drift, so it's not the kind of the big oversteering drift that kind of I think people expect when they hear the word. It's how much it can kind of peek its head around the corner as a performance car when you're just using it as a daily commute. And I have driven around a lot in London traffic and yet it brings a smile to my face every time and that's kind of exactly what you want from a hot hand, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. I think my best drive in it in fact was, do you remember when you left that tripod on the oh. road in Scotland? We drove sort of for about some 40 minutes, half an hour, got to a new location we said, ah, uh, we haven't got a tripod. Yeah, Ooh. left it in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to drive back in this and uh, go and get it whilst they filmed the uh, McLaren. I had a fantastic drive in this. It really is good as any driver had in the McLaren up there because it was just perfectly suited for those roads. And it's a car that you really do, you have to sort of grab it by the scruff of the neck yeah. and drive it hard and then it really comes alive. Well, for me, it's just the pops and the bangs are so entertaining and it kind of reminds you that you've got a performance car. I have just ripped the uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thor <Thorhurst Lolly. look. laughs> Maybe one more lap for luck <laughs> while the tyres still last. And then it's a final goodbye to one of the best long termers that I think we've had. It's hard to say goodbye to a long termer. Much like finishing a good book, you wish there were just a few more extra pages to keep the story going, but unfortunately, we're having to say goodbye. Although we will soon have another long termer to call home on the road, we'll always remember how much fun it was to have this little rocket waiting for us in the garage every time we had to head back out on the road. <laughs>